Kavanaugh came out there, guns blazing, <laughs> slinging. I mean, he was he cry? practically <laughs> foaming at the mouth and how angry. Wait, he, he cried. Did you see Harlem Nights when Arsenio Hall was like, you shot my brother, you shot my brother, pop, 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 pop. And no. he was crying. No, okay. Harlem <laughs> Nights. Okay, sorry. That's okay, what Brett, Brett Kavanaugh reminded me of because he was like so pissed. And then he was like, and then. And I was like, this is... No, no, Brett Kavanaugh, you know who nailed him? Matt Damon on SNL. Matt Damon came out there and he was exactly... You know when comedy is good? When you can't tell the difference between what actually happened <laughs> in comedy? I was like, this is basically it. He came out there guns blazing. Um, Yeah. It's really funny to me because you saw Dr. Blasey Ford, right? Uh -huh. She came out there and she's like, I am terrified. I didn't want to do this, but I felt like it was my civic duty. And you just saw her push through it. She was crying, but it was very like, you know what? I am pushing through this pain, and I'm going to say it in a very measured way. And then you see, contrast that with Brett Kavanaugh coming out there. How dare you talk about because my family? Because the Republicans then, said that he was not appalled enough. Exactly. And so he was like working according to script, you know, and acting like Trump. So to speak, he really was. You know, you know, this is a conspiracy. The Democrats are coming. They're punishing no. me because of the Clintons. And it was so crazy. And I'm like, exactly. Right. But this was the funny part. When they asked him a question, they were like, do you get drunk? Eric, do you get drunk? Do you? <laughs> what? Do you, do you have black it was, and I'm like, it was like, and then it's, it was privilege was like apparent. It's that was crazy. so much privilege and so much. And it's like he thinks he deserves to be on the Supreme Wait, Court. He said, I was at Yale. I didn't even have a hookup. Like, everybody have a hookup. What? His grandfather went to Yale. Like, he's a legacy student. So that was straight up a lie right there. So my thing is, can you imagine? If this was a woman acting like that, a woman going for the Supreme Court and came out there yelling and angry, they would have been calling her hysterical, yeah, crazy. Hysterical. Oh my gosh, she doesn't have the temperament. Emotional, emotional. Over it's emotional. It's always emotional. Hysterical is the Let word. Let me tell you who like should be pissed, right? And who should be yeah. pissed is Anita Hill. Well, like, yeah. I, I, I'm just like, and, and to me, I just feel like, and I, you know, I don't really play the black and white card, but I feel like because it's a white woman, if it was a, any other ethnicity, I think that it would be a totally different. In um, what way? In what sense? They just wouldn't. The I, reason why Anita Hill was uh, up against Clarence Thomas is because it was Clarence Thomas. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? They would have kind of like, sh they meaning. Well, you the mean because they were both black? Would've, in other yeah, would have shut it down. I just feel like. It, the Me Too movement, it like it, it seemed a little staged. Even Dr. Ford, like the photo when she was doing like this, like it was the clock behind her. It was like times up in my mind. I was like, there's <laughs> okay. just a lot going on. I just don't trust the government at this point. It's just I don't know. Just, I mean, not, mm. I don't know about the racist element in this in particular, but I do definitely think that there's a gender issue. Absolutely, because she, she was describing no woman could have come out there and acted the way he did. And and still been but like she, a nominee for the Supreme Court. They would they would it would have been over. And she, then they're like, oh, it makes it it makes him seem like it's so authentic because you know if someone accuses you of rape, you come out hard. And they were making excuses. And I'm like, it's so interesting. I saw this online. I can't remember who it was. Someone a lot smarter than me. Was crazy a little bit too because it yeah. said the alum. He said he was like Sally Joe's alum. That's what he wrote in yeah. in his yearbook. Yeah, so he was a bit of a little Renee, douche. Like a come on. Yeah, yeah, that whole thing. But it was like somebody said this really, and really smart. They were like, you know, it's interesting who gets to have feelings in this society. But you know who gets to have, white male. They get to be women. They get to be women. and They get to have feelings. They get to have everything. That's and, the thing. They and, get to have thing. And so what do you think is they going said, to happen? They said hell has no theory like a, 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 a white man being denied. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> I was like, because that, that's how he had. It was true. It was, it crazy. was crazy. But what do you think is going to happen now? Because... Do you think the Me Too, we've talked about Me Too, you know, in so terms of Bill Cosby. What do you think is going to happen with Brett Kavanaugh? Do you think he's going to push through and they're going to push his nomination through and he's going to get confirmed to the Supreme Court? Or do you think Me Too is going to take him down? Too? I think that he's going to get confirmed. I'm going to say I think he's going to get confirmed too and it is a sad day. It is a sad day. Because even if you, if you even take out the sexual assault, just the fact that he was lying under oath, 
over and over again about he things should have just said, said stuff like he doesn't recall like uh oliver north that's a good you know because i mean they've been lying under oath forever like that's just what happens don't ask me any questions you know exactly what this is so and it's it just yeah so that's it's america like, but that's this not, is america this is america it this is, is sad. america it's really sad it is really sad and, it, and this is what happens when you have somebody who's been credibly accused of sexual assault president donald trump as president and he's never gotten any when, type of when I, back, no real backlash, no criminal, nothing. When I listened to uh, Dr. Ford's statement, I was like, shh. I know it sounds like I don't have any feelings, but I do have a lot of feelings. Because me too, hashtag, right? But she was just describing a lot of Saturday nights. You know what I'm trying to say? In which is house, unfortunate. Drinking beer. Which is terrible. Shh. Like, which is terrible. That's why people say, don't go, don't go to anybody, don't go to the party, but yeah. stay with each other. Why? Because that is something that totally happens. And, and it lot. shouldn't. And it shouldn't. 